Hey guys, making a quick video. Um, just want to tell you a little bit about my Kyosho 4x4, the mods that I've installed, and the mods that I plan on installing, and kind of like the general purpose of what the mods are for and whatnot. This is the Toyota 4Runner, the dark metallic, so it's the um, shortest wheelbase of all the Kyoshos along with the Defender uh, Land Rover at 110 millimeter. The Jeep Wrangler and the Jimny are both 120 millimeter, having a uh, significantly longer wheelbase, which makes it quite a bit easier for doing obstacles. Front to back, I have a replica smitty built stinger bumper this mod is pretty handy uh, just because when you are modding this chassis the most important thing to consider is the weight these are a little bit top heavy and if you're running a stock Kyosho on obstacles like this one behind me which is a pretty technical set of rocks if you don't have any mods it's pretty tough to navigate through the terrain as it will fall over. I also have a uh, replica, it's like a worn winch, Warner winch in the front. This is purely cosmetic, but the bumper I like because it adds weight uh, to the front. And that's where, that's where you want all the weight when you're doing uh, technical rock crawling. Uh, next up we have my wheels. These are Enjora beadlocks. Pretty cheap for what you're purchasing. A lot of the RC four-wheel drive wheels, the cooler ones, are usually like $70 for a pair of beadlocks, but these Enjoras are quite nice. They add a lot of weight to the bottom of the chassis. And paired with the Enjora wheels, I have RC four-wheel drive dirt grabbers. These are a very, very kind of tame tread pattern. I like these a lot. I was running Mickey Thompson Baja Claws for a while and I find that these have a lot better grip. I've also vented the tires. Uh, I will vent the wheels pretty soon and venting just means you're putting hole to replicate airing down your tires when you're going wheeling because when you're on rocks it gives you more grip. Now Go into my suspension setup. Grab one of these. I have Enjora long travel uh, telescoping or double barrel. I didn't really do a lot of research on these, and I'm not not happy with the performance of these suspension. I will be changing them out for something else i'm just not sure what there's a, a japanese brand that sells kyosho i think it's eagle racing eagle something but they have um, really nice coilover specifically for the kyosho and you don't have to use these um these mounted things by the way these are from sleek 3d he's a guy who makes kyosho specific parts from the 3d printer on eBay and Etsy. Really like him. Also, if you're wondering what this little piece of green paracord is, that is a limiting strap because these this suspension, the shocks and the springs are so long, they have a lot of droop. So that causes the steering linkage connecting connecting to the the rack down here, steering rack. It doesn't want to turn to the right to fold so the servo can't it, it can't move it over so I have to use limiting straps for these next up I have I think these are Kyosho specific uh, long arm long travel arms these are metal I don't think these add too much weight um, but I like them just because like, I think they look cool they probably add a little bit of weight and I also have the brass bearings from Yeah Racing. These ones are really nice just because it makes the action of the arms a little bit smoother, I feel like. Also, 
I just put on the rear bumper. I wanted to add a little bit of weight in the back. These are the RC four wheel drive bead locks, the steel, sand steel bead locks. And these are different tires. These are tires that I'm, uh, I am I want to run after I'm using the dirt grabbers. These are the uh, Rock Crushers RC four wheel drive. Really, I like the tread a lot on these. I think these will perform a little bit better than the tires that I have on currently. And as for, oh, I forgot. I have both, if you can see, metal chassis braces, front and rear. Uh, the chassis brace is the thing that connects the frame to the axle, so it's not moving too much. Once again, I don't think they add too much performance, but any, any weight is good weight. And as for the body, This is a pretty stock vehicle. I'm running lithium ion AAAs. I will be swapping this out for a LiPo mod. Uh, the electronics are stock, uh, motor stock minus, uh, once again, sleek 3D uh, motor pinion spacers. So the only mod I have done to the motor specifically is I swapped the 12 tooth pinion to a seven tooth for more torque and low for low end torque and it's just better crawling you lose quite a bit of top speed but it performs a, it performs very well on the obstacles that i choose to do oh and i'm i also forgot i have front front and rear brass hubs and knuckles once again like i said any weight on this chassis is very is very 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 good it helps the performance of this chassis a lot um, some things that I'm considering doing uh, in the near future I am currently working on I'm currently working on a custom body uh, Jeep LJ buggy uh, if you don't know what an LJ is it's just a longer wheelbase TJ and as much as I like the Toyota 4Runner, I just I prefer Jeeps a lot more just because my real life crawling rig is a Jeep TJ. Um, I will be getting front and rear solid axles from I think it's Hot Racing. Um, since Kyosho doesn't offer only offers the front axle, uh, I like to kind of match my axles, and they, I think they look a lot cooler because the Kyosho ones just look like stock stainless ones, and these ones look a lot more like Dana 44 axles. And since I'm swapping to the Jeep, I, I kind of want it to look to scale. I've been trying to research if I can make my own axles, but I think the work would be a little bit too much for me. The other mods is anything on this that's plastic I plan to swap out to uh, metal so the frame I'm going to use um, either uh, hot racing or might do fury tech and the last but not least probably the biggest significant mod to this chassis is I will be doing the Felivera fury tech uh, motor ESC swap along with the fury tech transmitter and then after that that there's nothing that I haven't modded on this chassis some oh one more thing the front axle yokes I have changed to metal if you're going to run big tires and big wheels on this and you plan on doing a lot of technical stuff like I have the u-joint in the axle yoke because they're all plastic it will break mine were completely disintegrated and you will need to replace them these ones are very nice you do have to maintain them a little bit put some oil on it every once in a while but they perform quite well you can definitely notice a difference when you're doing technical crawling some thoughts on the chassis when I was looking for an RC chassis, I really wanted a um, 80 series Land Cruiser, but I was talking to a couple people and they recommended me um, the Axial series and then the Kyosho series. One of the biggest selling points for me, um, 
when I was looking to purchase this chassis, I wanted it to be uh, as to scale as possible. And I think Kyosho nailed it. The, the, the body looks amazing. The quality of the body is amazing. It looks really good when you're doing obstacles. It looks to scale. It doesn't look too funky. My only gripe really is what, if you are going to consider getting a Kyosho 4x4 and you want to do stuff that's not too easy or moderate, you are going to need to mod this chassis. And once you, these chassis are not really made for, they're not really made for putting too many mods on uh, just because like in the instance of the suspension since they droop too much I have to modify it and put limiting straps on it or if you're putting too much weight on the chassis you need to gear it down and get a better uh, motor or enter your battery source like a lipo or something because these when you start putting a lot of weight on it which is what they need you're going to need a lot more power so I, yeah, and then in the case of the axial, for the at least the 24th scale, I think they're a lot easier to use. Uh, they're a lot easier on the trails. They don't quite look as good as the Kyosho, I will admit, but if you're looking for something just to kind of mess around on and not really put too much money into it, I think the axial is a better choice just because they perform quite a lot better than the uh, Kyosho. But these look very... I just think the Kyosho looks a lot cooler. Also, another thing I really like about Mini Z or Kyoshos in general, like the 4x4, is the community. I just recently got this a couple months ago, and a lot of the guys on Reddit are very helpful. I'm, I usually post on the Mini Z 4x4 quite often. Really rare, I'll post on RC cards or like Crawler or something like that like that most of those guys are 110 scale but the community for the 124th scale uh, crawling scene is 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 pretty friendly everyone likes to help each other um and there's guys like sleek who are making uh, quality of life parts for these chassis and i just think um it's, there's only it's, uh, we can only go up from here. Another thing I wanted to point out with this uh, with the chassis, if you do choose to get the Kyosho, is the mod the mod support is kind of low. You're really limited to a lot of stuff. You're really limited to, um, in your choices when it comes to modifying this chassis. Like I said, I have a uh, Enduro wheel. I mean, a lot of people mod put SCX24 wheels on their Kyosho, but these um like the shocks that i have those are specific to scx24 so i had to get the custom mounts from sleek um, if you want to do scx24 wheels you need the hub adapters and you're going to need to lift it a little bit with the suspension just because I used to run uh, uh, um, bigger tires than this. I like the skinny tires because I like the look and they perform a lot better for what I like to do. But there's a problem when you're running big tires. There's not a lot of clearance here with the stock body. And then they get kind of hung up. So with that said, oh, I forgot to mention, um, if you do put a lot of weight on this, uh, be prepared to just take a look at the slipper clutch quite a bit uh, there are problems with that on this chassis and what I did uh, as a fix and some people have this problem with the stock with the stock chassis but a lot of people what they do is they put an extra pad on the slipper clutch uh, just so when you're going on obstacles if you're if you're like if you're putting weight down on the chassis while you're on the obstacles the slipper clutch just tends not to want to actuate so you'll get a distinct you'll hear the motor slipping from the actual pads so just be aware of that that's probably like the biggest problem with this chassis 
it's when you put weight the slipper clutch just does not want to work and that's a pretty big problem because that needs to be addressed um, but these are new chassis I think these have only been out for maybe two or three years or something and I think just the general idea of RC crawling is pretty new so with that said um, that's my this is my Kyosho all the mods that I have on it if you see me um, I'm like I said I'm usually on the 4x4 mini Z forums on reddit I go by uh, Fuji boys I don't post really anywhere else um, but yeah keep a lookout I do plan on trying to get my custom body working uh, oops I do plan on getting the custom body up pretty soon here if you like the if you if you have one of these let me know what you got uh, what you've done to it like I said the community is pretty friendly here and if you're if you haven't gotten in touch a lot of these people are pretty friendly so yeah uh, thanks for watching and like I said comment what you got let me know what your favorite mods are what your setup is all right thanks peace